Okay, this is one of my plants from the large patch I've been working with the past few weeks. Um, hopefully you can see that it has purple flowers, which I had completely forgotten because I have five varieties. Some of the flowers are white, some are yellow, and these are purple. So that means it's definitely not a Lactuca verosa, and from my research I would say it's a Lactuca biennis. This is a, at least a 15 foot tall plant. Um, so that's the closest I have um, to an ID on that. And I'm going to show you some experiments I've been doing with the latex and the plants I've been harvesting. Um, this is about a week's worth of dried latex lacticarium that I have harvested just from um, this little patch of plants here. Uh, I probably have three to four times this much. Um, I've already given some of it away. I've been using it myself. But I've been doing some experiments with it. And in this one, I tried to dissolve it in coconut oil. And it really didn't dissolve, although it's gotten lighter in color. And that seems to indicate that it has pulled some kind of the medicine out of this, but I'd have to taste it. My, in my experience with doing this last year and this year, when it starts to remove some of the color, if it tastes bitter, then you might have some relaxing effects from that. Um, okay, the next one I did, this was, first it was half just apple cider vinegar. And you can see that what's left seems to be white. And when I taste that, there is zero bitterness. And so I'm thinking that that's probably just the gums and the res the latex stuff. Um, the rubber, sort of natural rubber principles in here. So it didn't break them down, though. Um, it, just, it just sort of stripped the color. I mean, it broke them down a little bit. Um, so then I added half uh, PGA, pure grain alcohol, 95% percent alcohol to see if it would help break them down more. I didn't notice any difference, but this isn't exactly scientific. So then, I think this is 50% alcohol. I should have marked it. It could be could be 70% alcohol. Um, these are not as white as the ones in the vinegar, but this hasn't sat as long, but it's been at least four or five days. And uh, but these also don't taste bitter at all. Um, so I'm thinking it pulled some of the medicinal properties out of here. And I will at some point try this. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to try this because I'm guessing it's going to taste pretty nasty. Okay, so here are some of the stalks from these plants. Some of the smaller plants I've harvested once they started budding out. Uh, not all my plants are flowering yet, only two of them are showing flowers. So what I do is I even harvest the root. Um, I'll pull up the root and uh, let the stalks dry out for a couple of hours and then cut them up and uh, put them in my dehydrator with the roots. So um, the leaves, I've already mentioned, they're large. I hang them upside down. Um, they take forever in the dehydrator anyway because they seem to have a lot of water. So uh, last couple of years I tried fresh plant tinctures. This year, uh, in addition to probably trying some double strength uh, fresh tank tinctures, which you can see on um, Seven Songs website. He's also got a YouTube channel. He's an amazing herbalist with a wealth of knowledge. Seven, the number, S-O-N-G. Um, I forgot to mention something, and that is that when I dried the lacticarium, uh, and with all the products that I've harvested, I'm keeping them out of the light. Um, and, I mean, I'm not as worried about the leaves. They're in shaded places in my house, but they're not in complete darkness until they're fully dried. Um, okay, so I'm going to link to a study below. Uh, I mentioned before that chicory root also has the same susquaterc bean lactones. It's in the same family as wild lettuce, uh, and it has lactucan in it. 
And so there are a lot of studies on the lactucan in chicory root, which is why I recommend that people who like to read studies on the herbs they work with go ahead and search for that. Um, so there was a, a chicory root is used in a lot of foods, and it's very bitter because of the susquaterpene lactones in it, uh, including the lactucan. And so there's a study that shows that UV light completely degrades the susquaterpene lactones in chicory root. And the level of UV light is the same level that we get here on Earth from the sun. So I'm doing my best not to dry that stuff out in the light. I keep it in a cabinet. Uh, you probably saw I use silica packets and I take a lot of time and then I store it in pill bottles. Each one has a silica packet. Uh, because I have read in the old pharmacopias that, that uh, it can be attacked by mold. I've also read that it doesn't attract water from the atmosphere, so that sort of confuses me. Uh, at any rate, um, I also found a clip on my phone I forgot I recorded, and I'm going to, next I'm going to show something very brief about harvesting the latex. Um, I wanted to show just how close to the surface the latex is in these plants again, and how it is absolutely not necessary to put a lot of pressure on your knife if you're going to harvest it this way. Um, I have a pin here, I don't know if I can get this to focus on it, but this is just a small needle, it's a sewing needle. And if I just very lightly take it to the surface of the plant, it's going to start to bleed. And I mean, I'm barely scratching the surface there, putting hardly any pressure. And this is my second year harvesting the latex by hand. Um, I think that I've probably been putting a little bit too much pressure on my knife that's been really unnecessary. So I've started to just barely hit the plant um, because I do think I've damaged a couple of the plants. They're doing fine. They've started flowering or at least they're in the bud phase. Um, but there are certain areas where I really went at it pretty deep that now those areas aren't really being very profuse in the output. So I've started to take a really light hand at this and uh, that's just a tip.